Cyril Page started off in Limehouse. He was born in 1899 and then moved to Wanstead sometime between 1911 and 1916. He lived on Gordon Road, number 32. Wanstead was quite a small area. These were some places Cyril may have seen or even been to. Years later, on the 26th of January, 1945, the house Cyril lived in was destroyed by a V2 rocket. 17 were killed, 6 were injured, and 27 slightly injured. Wanstead has now changed in a variety of ways. The fountain has moved. The cinema no longer exists. The shops, the houses and many more have all changed. Cyril had joined the war on the 27th of August 1917. How do you think Cyril may have felt like when he joined the army? Um, I think Cyril may have felt very nervous but somewhat patriotic when he joined the army because he was protecting his country but he could also be going towards his death. What about, like, do you think he went because of propaganda, maybe? I think that propaganda um, probably encouraged Cyril to go to the army, but wasn't the entire reason that made him go. Um, I think he may have been forced to sign up. And um, how do you think he would have felt about seeing the new London, uh, new Wanstead? Um, I don't really think he would have felt any different, because Wanstead looks quite the same as it used to nowadays, so apart from the cinema being missing, really, that's all I can think of. When soldiers were signing up for the war, propaganda played a huge part. Advertisements, posters and photos were all aimed at those who could be persuaded to go to war. By using direct language, patriotism, and misconceiving misled images rather than reality played a huge part. Even women were aimed at. Soldiers in magazines were seen as idols and people to aspire to, brave, selfless and attractive. Rosenberg was a soldier and poet, but a pacifist unlike Cyril. Cyril was young and swept up into the patriotism, compared to Rosenberg, who although believed in no war, still went to fight. That was the reality, no one really had a choice. Even if they did disagree, the pressure and response soldiers received out on the street was embarrassing. The darkness crumbles away. It is the same old Jewish time as ever. As I pulled the parpit's poppy to stick behind my ear, draw rat, they would shoot you if they knew your cosmopolitan sympathies. It seems you inwardly grin as you pass, strong guys find limbs to haughty athletes less chance than you for life. The torn fields of France, what do you see in our eyes? At the shrieking iron and flame, hurled through still heavens, what quaver, what heart aghast, poppies whose roots are in man's veins. The vague scripted letter home is very generic so that it can fit every soldier's needs. However, it doesn't cater to the emotional communication that young boys desire to have with their loved ones while they are at war. Cyril's only communication home consists of the few feeble words, I'm quite well. It is very questionable and holds no reassurance for his distraught family. However, the postcard captioned somewhere in France is more hopeful. It conveys that Cyril is safe and supported by fellow members in his regiment as well as being efficient for the army, as if the postcard somehow fell into enemy's hands, their location wouldn't be jeopardised. These mediums of communicating home possess very little empathy and emotions. If I was Cyril sitting in this picture, I probably would have felt very nervous because even after your preparation and your training, you still don't know what to expect. And for all you know, tomorrow could be your last day. It's hard to tell whether Cyril knew he was going to die soon or not because we're not sure what kind of person he really was. He could have been a very brave soldier who was willing to fight regardless of the consequences, or he could have been very timid and hung at the back of the group, wanting all this to be over as quickly as possible. Cyril Page died on the 1st of September 1918, only a few weeks after going to war.
1917, at the age of 18, Sir Alec Page joined the East Surrey Regiment, who fought in northern France. On September the 1st, 1918, Cyril was sadly killed, only aged 19. On the 1st of September 1918, Private Page was sadly killed in action. On the 28th of September, an official document was sent home to the family notifying them of Cyril's death. A letter was sent home to the family saying that any of Private Page's possessions will be sent home shortly. His mother also sent a letter asking the whereabouts of his grave, but to no avail. Dear Madam, in reply to your letter of the 28th of November 1918, I regret to inform you that the grave of Private Cyril Alec Page has not yet been located, which inquiry has been noted, and I will write to you again as soon as I am able to obtain the information. I am very sorry not to be able to send you a more satisfactory reply. Yours faithfully, the London War Office.